Vegetate presents Welcome to my garden. Hey, it's Wes with Vegetate, and I just want to give you guys a quick update on Cinegirl. If you don't remember from last year, me and Aiden crossbred a tomato, and I'm going to point the little annotation here if you want to go check that out. And we named it Cinegirl. Well, we overwintered it. Uh, we got to F3. These are the F3 variety. <clears throat> now, what's interesting is I had one tomato plant that I had kept overwintered, and it had a weird shape to it compared to the other one. So I kept the seeds from it. There was 12 seeds, and I started 12 plants, and they all uh, were 100% germination rate, so I planted them out in my garden, gave them away to some family and friends. And what was interesting was <clears throat> we got some interesting varieties and different, some changes. <clears throat> so what I'm going to show you here is what it looks like, and we're going to do a taste test and see which one we like. What we're going to do is, I really like the look of this. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it has this interesting look, which looks nothing like the family. And if you look at this one, it has very similar, but it's totally different. And then there were some that were just completely smooth. So it just blows my mind how, how uh, you know, it's still unstable. And it, out of 12 seeds, they got 12 different variations, or 12 different styles. And But the, the great thing about it was, uh, they were all good size, and they, they are all very prolific. Um, they have tons and tons on of, uh, on them. I'm growing in different mediums to see if it affects them anyway. But yeah, so we're going to cut these in half, and we're, I'm going to show what they look like on the inside. We're going to save the seeds. Yeah, we're also going to be doing a test with our reflectometer to see which one has more sugar content in it, or more... Uh, sweetness. Not sweetness. Anyway... So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna do that. So uh, we're gonna pull you in here real quick. She looks like on the inside. Very ripe, very ripe, very juicy as you can see there. Whoa! Wow, not many seeds. Interesting, but very, very, very meaty. That is unbelievably meat. That's all meat right there. Just no whatsoever and look at that that's just beautiful just beautiful and look there's always hair in there yay <laughs> yeah here's the other side of it very ripe almost beautiful I've never seen the marbling in it like that it's not much seeds though I'm gonna be shocked if I can get any seeds out of this so this is Sunny Girl A F3 now this one is not as ripe yeah, as the other one but it's, it's pretty ripe it's yeah. still very juicy very very meaty it's like the and wow all meat no, it any. looks like it has vessels yeah, it almost looks like a watermelon I think of a watermelon when I see it it's got that style it's just very light seeds I see two maybe back here there's some more but yeah very meaty very juicy I think this one is juicier alright tell me which one do you like tastes better to you try that one first So they taste different or they taste the same or if one tastes better than the other. It should be that one. You like that one better. Okay. Aiden's going to go with A right now. Don't tell mom. No. I want to have her. I'll give it to her. Have her. Aiden, give me another plate. Get some seeds. We'll get some seeds. Yay. Bunch of seeds. Bunches of them. They're hidden. They're inside, like this. There's small little pockets of seeds, but there's so much meat. Yeah, in like, there's like this edging, and then there's all. I wish it, you could see how it's much. It's like, it's like um, a pinata. Like right, pinata. this is B, and that's Those A. That's <laughs> one. Which one she likes better? Which one? A or B has more sugar context or more bricks content? Can I look at it first? Right, there it is. Put our bricks on there. Okay, Zoe, what do you think it looks like it's at? Wait, what do I look at? Where the blue and the white difference. It's, that's the line. Where it's the, like almost to a five. Almost to a five? Almost to a five, like in the middle of the blue. Yeah, I'd say it's a, a four and a half. Okay, that's... Yeah, four and a half. Well, give me a paper towel or a rag so I can wipe that off. So this one's a four and a half. This is A, one I like the flavor of. It's got a bricks of 4.5. So we're going to try... We're going to try B and see if there's any difference in flavor, which I don't think there will be. They're pretty close yeah. in flavor, but this has just a little bit more um, flavor. 
Dates are uh, in the same family as tomatoes. No. Oh, what? No. What is? Okay. Peppers? <laughs> nope. What is? Nothing. All right. This one's a smidgen higher. It's four point. It's four point seven five, if you will. Yeah, it's a, so it's a little bit higher sugar content, but these are running around the 4.5. Test, test of the bricks on, on tomato A, and it was a 4.5, and this was about a 4.75. So really close in bricks, so the sugar content is about the same. The, the pros I love about this one is it's juicy, very meaty. I love the color, the shape and size. Uh, however, this one has a more interesting look to it. Same effect with the with the uh, meatiness. They were very close in flavor. Uh, this one definitely was tastes better, even though it was lower in bricks, uh, in my opinion, and, and Aiden's opinion, and my wife's opinion. So A was definitely clearly the, the taste winner. Uh, the seeds are in on the on the outer side pockets and these little neat little pockets. So there's a lot of meat on these. It's, it's impressive. Uh, it's almost like a watermelon. I mean, it looks just like a watermelon. It's just thick, dense, fleshy meat. So. Anyway, that's, that's what I've come up with so far. So we're going to take these, we're going to put them in these jars. We're going to ferment them off. I'm going to label them clearly with B and A. And we're going to ferment them off, and I'm going to start two trays, about uh, 12 seeds each. And we'll let those grow up uh, this fall, for the fall crop, and see what happens then. See if it continues with the, the traits of the interesting looks. Again, like I said, uh, I put in 12 from the same fruit, same seeds, they all had different characteristics, so again, it's still unstable. So, if it if it holds true to these, it'll stay with them, uh, hopefully, with the next uh, family. So, time to grow a plant. And if you look at the differences on this one, so this is a lot way more interesting. It has a lot more rippling effect. But when you look at this one, this is also a sunny girl. It's got the ripples as well, but not near as well defined. And also, again, it has about eight plants or eight tomatoes on that bundle there. Of course, we. <laughs> so, Aiden, anything you'd like to ask you about to add? It grows things. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Mm -hmm. Bye.